Today I'm working on this uh, Bentley. It's a 2006 Bentley Continental. Uh, complaint is just various lights on the dash. It has a check engine light. It sometimes runs a little rough. And um, they just want me to check it over and see what what's going on with it. So I'm going to bring you guys along. Let's see what we can find out and kind of just go from there. So I'll get you guys a shot of how it uh, how it runs, and key is here on the left, and so it's a little bit of kind of like a misfire type, maybe, and then obviously a bunch of lights, and also a suspension. Uh, issue going on and I can tell you and, and noticing from pulling it in it almost feels like you lose uh, brake assist the pedal gets hard so almost like a loss of vacuum so hopefully you can pick that up got a little bit of a shake it's hard to probably hard to pick up on camera so feels like slight misfire you can hear the misfire on the exhaust and a ton of error codes we'll go ahead and scan it but just wanted to get a shot also the rear suspension is uh, down lower than what it should be Okay, we'll start off. By scanning. Do automatic. Read the VIN. And the vehicle almost like at, at times seems like it stabilizes and then goes into that little bit of a shaking misfire. Uh, so this is the saloon. Okay, and I'm going to do a complete system scan and then see what that, uh, see what that brings up. So let's go over, so there's a ton of, wow, there's a ton of faults everywhere. Let's take a look at the report. So first of all, in the let's call engine computer, it's a bunch of uh, looks like misfire. Cool. Let's see. So the second engine computer. Steering angle sensor that's active. Voltage supply. Okay, so after a certain point, uh, so here's, okay, a second engine computer, uh, misfires again, and then as I was saying, after a certain point, a lot of them are in the uh, past tense, let's call it, not current, and of course these are like body modules I'm curious if okay so in the level control which is gonna be I'm gonna assume suspension it's got an active one for steering angle sensor um, which then tells you to refer to that which we saw that in the traction control uh, I believe on this system is what it's responsible for the uh, steering angle sensor so Okay, what I am going to do with a situation like this, um, I am going to save the info and then clear all of the memory and start over. 
see what's true and current and start chasing it down like that. Okay, so we just finished clearing complete memory. We'll key it off, let it sit for a little bit. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna crank it, start it, run it, and see what comes back. The only things that are left, um, let's see, take a quick look. Here, see heating, okay. Impossible signal from engine two. Um, so I'm not too worried at the moment with that. Um, again, let's just get it started running and see what comes back. Okay, right away we see uh, ABS traction and then uh, looks like a suspension message and while it's running I will go ahead and do a complete scan I can feel it shaking a little bit so the drivability, I'm sure, is going to come back. But I'll let this run and see what we uh, get. Okay, so we rescanned it. Let's take a look. Obviously, a bunch of things did come up. Not as much as before. But let's see. Cooling fan, control, coolant pump, cruise. So there's a couple things here. Um, not sure why these came up, but stayed as passive. No signal, no calm. So it's electrical stuff. I'm actually not getting any misfires at this moment, um, but there is this guy here. Mass airflow, no signal or performance, circuit range, okay. Transmission, load signal error from. This usually would mean a uh, load signal, meaning like a mass airflow um, from engine computer. So I'm wondering if that's just tattletailing the uh, mass airflow issue in the engine computer. And then the brakes, uh, we saw this. So it's a uh, steering angle sensor, voltage supply, uh, no signal, communication deal. Um, and then some voltage, lower limit. What I am going to do, now this is again something based off of experience from one of these type of vehicles or a system like this in the uh, Volkswagen Audi world. There was one that I had a lot of uh, um, work into uh, issue with the steering angle sensor. It was on an Audi and it ended up being not an actual steering angle sensor issue. But as you saw right away, it reset as soon as we keyed it on and in the traction control unit we are tattletale about a steering angle sensor issue. Now I can calibrate this all day long, key it off, as soon as I start it that's going to come right back on. And again this is purely off of experience and so this is part of why I wanted to see if that was what was going on here so I can share with you guys. As far as the engine stuff if you remember the brake pedal would get hard when pulling it in almost like a loss of vacuum um, I want to bring you under the hood for visual inspection and then I'll 
try to continue, possibly conclude uh, with a lot that I believe is going on. Another clue for me, based off experience, now if you can tell, the rear has now raised up. And so, this vehicle starts up strong, no problem, and it runs idle as we can tell. But you saw there some voltage, like lower limit codes, so on and so forth, occurring. Now this is where I want to show you what I believe is going on. Here to the right, we have a battery. Here on the left, we have another battery. This one here on the right is what is considered the starting battery. This here on the left is what's considered the auxiliary battery. Now let's take a quick look. So we've got over 13 on that. And then the same there. Now this is where the problem occurs. Is as soon as we cycle the key off, watch what happens. So key off. Now the cam the voltage on the left one is shooting down almost right away it went down to 10 volts and then now it is just um, shooting down so what the main problem is or one of the main problems that I think is affecting a lot of the vehicle is this battery here is used for a ton of things on the vehicle like keeping alive the memories of the modules, activating the suspension, and so on and so forth. So it's referred to as an auxiliary, but it controls almost everything else other than looks like starting a system, which once that's started, and it gets the vehicle going and the alternator starts charging, the systems are tied, and so this one will get voltage and power and can activate the vehicle but as soon as you cut the engine off basically the charging of the batteries the current state of this actual battery is that it's no good and so when the key is off the vehicle is not running and it is the battery's job to maintain the vehicle uh, with the memory again, suspension, so on and so forth, um, it cannot do that. And so all those electrical trouble codes start popping up. You can clear them all day as soon as you turn the key off and then key it back on from a dead state where memory was not alive in the modules. Boom, right away they'll start logging a ton of codes and the dead giveaway is that steering angle sensor. Why? Because on VW Audi products, the calibration and obviously voltage code for steering angle sensor, like it, it gets lost, and so you have to recalibrate it, and it's saved in the memory, but it'll calibration will get lost as soon as power and stuff uh, go away with the ABS and so on and so forth. And so if it keeps popping that up, don't chase the steering angle sensor. It's a battery voltage supply issue. When the battery goes dead, a bunch of things start wigging out, acting like there's a problem somewhere else, but it's really the battery. Again, with the suspension, over time, the vehicle sits upright, but if it starts to dip a little, the module will see that. It'll reach out with enough power to the compressor it'll randomly just 
turn on while the vehicle is not running and it'll just pressurize the system enough to get the vehicle back up if you notice that if you have one where it, after a few days or so it dips down but then comes up and you're having battery stuff problems the source is going to be a dead battery not being able to provide power to the compressor to pump up the air and raise the vehicle uh, even though no engine is running and the car sits without being turned on it should still be able to raise itself if the battery is good and as we were going to do visual inspection uh, from what I remember the owner did tell me that this had gone to the body shop and when it came back it was running I guess the way that it was and I'm not sure if you can tell there's body dust something was done on this side it looks like but I did notice this and this cover and basically this box this one is good and tight uh, you can imagine what this goes down to so basically the mass airflow is down there and it's not connected to the boot the rest of the intake system so there is a vacuum leak there on this side incorrect mass airflow reading which can give us the misfires and the um, possible loss of the brake pedal so I think for now simple enough I'll get that seated reinstalled properly get it running see if the drivability stuff goes away hopefully it does and don't have to dive in too crazy and then we'll address the electrical issue okay so I've installed the air box good and tight correctly uh, it's sitting good there with the mass airflow uh, coupler it's actually uh, running idling pretty good and smooth I am in the engine computer one uh, I want to delete these codes just just cause um, especially to get rid of that um, this one is it's a cruise control switch so not too too concerned wondering if these are also popping up due to the um, low battery issue but um, and they are listed as passive so I am going to uh, just clear these for the drivability codes to go away. And then I'll back out and clear the uh, ECM number two and get those gone, see if they stay away. But again, with uh, low battery, we could be seeing erroneous messages being logged. Okay, we'll back out. And then we'll go there. And if you notice, our battery shows good. So that's showing off of that right side uh, start battery. Cruise control much. Okay, so those are drivabilities that I'm not going to be too concerned with for right now. Um, and the rest I am going to attest to a uh, low battery issue. And while I'm at it, I also wanted to uh, show you because there was a complaint about suspension noise. And if you look here, the sway bar link is somehow not together. I don't know what happened, how the metal link basically pressed itself out that's weird obviously something uh, happened not sure if that's why it went to body shop or what but uh, I'd say that's where your suspension noise is as far as the knocking while driving that's what it should look like okay battery's been replaced I haven't cranked and or started the car or cleared anything uh just quickly showing you a shot of that got both batteries connected i do have to fill up with some gas before 
I stall out. So let me get that done and then we'll get back on the scanner. Okay, it's first time in. Let's key it up. And um, go ahead and do a quick erase. Okay, so there we go. We cleared everything. Um, these two are the steering angle. That's the uh, cruise control switch. So, well, lucky for me, uh, I didn't have to go search for the uh, login code to perform the calibration. As soon as I pulled out of the shop and drove a little bit and steering wheel was being turned a few different directions, it actually learned itself. So, just going to go for a test drive and you can see the traction light went off and also the ride level control light had has gone off as well so both of those were obviously related to steering angle sensor uh, I'm just gonna drive it make sure everything is good as far as the uh, drivability as well all right so there it is I just went around put a good few miles on it no more check engine light no more steering angle sensor issues all those codes are cleared gone nothing has returned key has been cycled multiple times um, only thing left on the dash is let me close this is the tire and we obviously we physically don't have a flat tire I believe the left rear sensor is not operating correctly so no more Christmas tree Bentley um, everything is fixed and no more issues all right like we said everything's taken care of um, hopefully you guys picked up something on these basically Volkswagen Audi group vehicles they are very finicky when the battery voltage is really low and they can't supply the vehicle with enough uh, power juice voltage whatever you want to call it to keep the modules happy it can be a wild goose chase uh, they'll send you into different areas as far as just random erroneous trouble codes that pop up that'll make you think you have to look in a different area so again keep that in mind before you go chasing something you don't need to so hopefully you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it that's all for this one Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.